Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do parametric analysis in HFSS software. To do parametric analysis, we need to first create a geometry by declaring variables. To know how to create a geometry suitable for parametric analysis, watch my previous video for which the link is provided in the description of this video. Now let us see how I have declared that variables for parametric analysis. So here if you go to project and select project variables, we can see these are the project variables that I have declared in this particular project. And here I'll be taking the length of the patch that is LP as one of the parameter which I'm going to vary and do parametric analysis on it. Now let us create parametric analysis by clicking on the project and by right clicking on the optimetrics. So here you can see an option add with parametric. You can click on it, a window will pop up like this and now here you can click on add and here you can select the variable dollar $LP. Then you can give the start and stop values here. So for this I will be giving start value as 28.62 and stop value as 29.62 and in a step of 0.2 millimeters. Once it is done, you click on this add and click OK. Once that is done, you can see here a table is created and it shows these are the values for which the parametric analysis is going to be done in this particular simulation. Then click OK. Now right click on the analysis and click on add solution setup. So here this antenna I have created for 2.4 gigahertz, hence I am entering here 2.4 gigahertz as a solution frequency. Maximum number of passes I will just give 18 and I am not going to change maximum delta S. After that I will just click OK. Now you can see a setup 1 is created. Just right click on that setup 1 and click on add solution frequency sweep. Here you can select the sweep type as interpolating itself and I'll be keeping this distribution as linear count and I will change the start frequency from 2 gigahertz to end frequency as 3 gigahertz with the number of points as 201. So now let us click OK. You can see here the sweep is created. This is the sweep that we have created. Once the analysis setup is created, you go to validate and see is there any errors in the design. So here in our case, it shows the validation check is uh, completed and we do not have any errors in it. So let us close this and then you can click on this analyze all to run the simulation. Once we click on that, the simulation will start. We can see the progress here. The green bar is keep on moving. That shows the uh, simulation progress. Here you can see the analysis progress. It shows that uh, already the three values of LP is solved and one is solving and there are two values of LP which is to be solved. Now we can see the simulation is completed and it shows in the message manager parametric analysis is done. Now we can click on the results to observe the parametric analysis data. So to do that go to create model solution data report, click on rectangular plot and select here S parameters S11 and DB. So once it is done you just click on new report. Close it. Now you can see the graph here having multiple uh, curves corresponds to different values of the length of the patch. Here you can see here, so the highlighted graph is a for LP is equal to 28.62 millimeters, similarly for 28.2 millimeter and so on we can have these graphs. Out of all these graphs we can see here for 29.22 mm, so the antenna is resonating exactly at 2.4 gigahertz. This is how we can tune our antenna for the desired frequency 
by doing parametric analysis that's all in this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share to your friends thank you